everyone and welcome back to new view you guys i am in a goofy mood today okay <laughs> i don't know why i think i'm just excited because i'm getting new glasses today yes anyway um yeah i'm here checking the energy okay i feel like the the energy feels good for you um I, i'm kind of clicking my heels today i don't know i'm feeling good anyway just take what resonates from this reading leave the rest behind i hope you guys are in the kind of mood i'm in today i hope you're feeling goofy too and um <laughs> thank you everyone for all of your support honestly you know what let's just say it's a it's a requirement it's a requirement a little bit of goofiness today is, re is a requirement to watch this reading okay <laughs> Anyway, somebody's not feeling so good, though. I feel like there's a person that's stressing out about you. Anyway, um, my divine feminines, divine masculines, I love you guys. Thank you all so, so much for helping me grow this channel from the ground up, okay? This is serious, all right? Thank you, thank you so, so much to all of my subscribers. I love you guys, for real. All right, so, um, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective messages for my collective today Ooh, you're moving forward um yeah you could be a cancer pisces scorpio um you you could be dealing with a pisces i feel like yep somebody is stuck in karma Ooh. okay here's the thing they feel very stuck um they either they either chose a karmic person over you or um, or they have some kind of addictions that they're stuck in that they can't seem to shake, okay? I feel like it's a karmic situation. Um, yeah. They chose the devil over uh, a, this queen of cups in a commitment and the ten of pentacles. You were a blessing. You were the holy grail. You were the holy grail couple love. As I look down, it's there staring at me in the face. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Yeah, I feel like you were this person's destiny. Um, this is somebody that you could have um, been in a commitment with, a marriage. Yeah, look, I feel like they've fallen. They've fallen from grace. They're not having a victory. Whoever they chose over you, they were thinking that... Um, they were thinking it was going to be a victory. They were thinking that it was it was the right choice, but it wasn't. And they're seeing that now. You're the victory here. You're the in the chariot. You could definitely be a Cancer. And you're an Emperor, Empress energy. It's the Emperor that drives the chariot. Um, yeah. And you're, you are out here moving forward very quickly with a lot of determination. All right. You're like, I'm out of here. Yeah. I feel like you've already moved on. Some of you could already be in another commitment already. Okay. And happy. Happy as a little clam. Right. Water sign energy. And this person now they're, they're really struggling. Um, they're, I feel like they're in a lot of regret. They're stuck in a karmic storm. They're stuck with the devil. They're stuck with the devil. And I feel like the devil is uh, burning them. If you look, you know, they're both chained to the devil here. I feel like with the, the person that they chose over you could be very vain. She could be, um, she could be very attractive, but I feel like um, she may, th you know, she's always talking about, actually, I feel like she's trying to look like you, collective. She's talking about your hair, your skin, your face, the clothes that you wear. I feel like she's trying to look like you to attract the attention of this masculine. But I feel like this masculine is thinking about you and they're getting burned here by the devil. Okay. Yeah. They're feeling heartbroken. They realize they made a bad decision. They've got a lot of burdens, too. I feel like, you know, they can't stand the silence anymore between you two. Because you're not speaking to them. There's no communication. And they're, they're getting more and more heavily burdened by the day. Okay? I feel like this person really misses you. They're feeling heartbroken. 
they're crying a lot of tears. If you look, they're crying here. Look at this, right? Yeah, they could have a lot of financial burdens as well. Um, definitely wounded warrior energy, okay? Um, feeling very vulnerable. They can't stand the silence. They can't stand it that you're not talking to them. I feel like this person, maybe they never thought that you would leave them behind, but you are leaving them behind. I feel like you already did. This could also be to me sometimes like a sudden awakening or a realization. Okay, they could have recently found out that you, um, you're either getting new love or you're about to. Or, I mean, you're either getting new love or you already have. <laughs> yeah, they don't know. I feel like this person doesn't know what to do. I also feel like maybe they tried to juggle you with this karmic. I've, I'm definitely picking up that this karmic is competing with you so hard that she's trying to look like you. <laughs> she is. She's looking in, at herself in the mirror. Okay, well, is this the kind of hair that the, co that the collective has? You know, do am I wearing my makeup the right way? I feel like she's, um, she's trying to look like you. Yes, that's the truth. Thank you. Yes, that's the truth. Yeah, see, she's trying to look like you. She's trying to mirror your image, okay, so that she gets the attention of this masculine. She knows that this masculine wants you. I mean, I feel like um, their situation is done. These cups are already knocked over. This masculine knows it. And they're still carrying this little heart, right? They're unable to let you go. They cannot let you go. They don't know how to let you go, collective. They, they keep thinking about the love that they left behind. Their earth angel. Thank you, their earth angel. You know, the one that can manifest a whole new portal for herself and all of this abundance and, and wealth and opportunities. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the earth angel, that's their other half. Yeah, that would be you. You're the only one that they can think about. And they don't know how to let you go. Okay? But you're releasing them. You're moving on. Um, or you already have with somebody new. Higher font. The and spirit comes out and says, "Well, wait a minute, dude. Didn't you didn't you leave the the collective behind in a mental prison? Didn't you leave them standing there in the mud with all of these questions stuck in their head over you? Spirit's making this person like they're the divine is reminding this person their conscience. This is their conscience screaming at them." Um, saying, didn't you do this to the collective, though? You kept them blindfolded, all tied up in this. Yeah, spirits, like, we've seen all of it. We've seen the whole thing. And this was an earth angel that you did this to. You know, so they're um, really mentally conflicted. That uh, They want you. They can't believe they turned their back on you. They just can't believe they did this. Okay, they're heartbroken. Yeah, spirits reminding them, look, you, you had in and out energy with the collective, used the collective, took advantage of the collective, and you planned to do it. And then after that, after that, you blame the, you let the collective take blame. You let other people tear them apart. You threw the collective to the wolves and watched people tear them apart. And this was an innocent person. This was a, this was a divine being. This was an earth angel that you did this to. Spirit is making this person learn a lesson. Okay? They're, that's why they're suffering this, this karma. You know? 
And if this is a twin flame soulmate connection, I'm seeing you as possibly a, a divine masculine, divine feminine, okay? Um, this is a twin flame soulmate connection. This person was supposed to right the wrongs that they made in previous lifetimes. They were supposed to right all of that and give you justice and put honor on your name, like in this lifetime. They were given an opportunity to um, pay, basically easily, more easily pay off that karmic debt by doing things right, standing up for you, standing up for this connection, defending you. But instead, they took advantage of you and then released you to the wolves, threw you to the wolves, collective. That's what they did. And then, and then they left you sitting there wondering why. Why would you do something like this to me? I would have never treated you that way. You know, that's, those are the kind of things that you were thinking to yourself. Spirit's stopping this person. And they're like, you know, let us remind you of what you did. You know, I feel like they're keep, that's why this person is, it, it really does feel like spirit is kind of denying them access, like access denied, okay? Um, they can't, maybe they can't come towards you. They need to boss up. They need to prove that they're worthy of an empress because that's what you are. They did this all to an empress, an earth angel, divine feminine energy. Okay. So they're really, truly suffering here, but they're suffering um, the punishment for what they've done to you um, when they were supposed to do right by you in this lifetime. You know, and I feel like behind your back, if you notice where I laid the cards, behind your back, this person was laughing about it. I feel like at first they were laughing about it, thought they could get away with it thought they could just easily blame this on you and sneak away unscathed and let people drag your reputation through the mud and attack you. Okay, that's what they did. They were laughing about it at first behind your back. But now they're in all of this regret and remorse for how they treated you because they don't know how to let you go. <laughs> now they don't know how to let you go. Yeah. And now you're very abundant. You, you uh, Growing something solid for yourself, something stable, right? High priestess energy. And you, they walked away from a high priestess to get in a karmic situation. And you know what? You've, you've always stayed t 10 steps ahead of this person. You know, there was there may have been a point at one at one time when you even said something to them, like um, something they can't forget. OK, you could have said, why are you doing this? You're walking away from your happiness or you're walking away from your destiny. You know, um, you're going to, you know, uh, you, later on, you're going to realize that you, you made the wrong choice. You could have said anything to them. Like, um, you really predicted this outcome for them. And I feel like they're surprised by that. They should have listened. They should have listened to the divine. The divine was giving them spiritual messages. Um, they didn't listen, you know? Yeah, I feel like, you know what, this person, they held, I feel like they were holding back, okay? Um, they could have even had a big ego, all right? They may have even, um, you know, like I said, thought that they would get away with something and let it, allowing people to keep blaming you or ripping you apart. And I feel like now they're, they're at the bottom. They're at the bottom of this wheel of fortune. They're either stuck with the devil or they're having like a lot of bad luck things happening in their life, okay? And you, you're in emperor energy, remember? You're coming in in the chariot as the emperor. And you're at the top of the wheel now. You're, now you're at the top of your game. 
and I feel like it's only going to get better. Okay? So you've already started a new cycle. You've created your own portal here. You walked through it. You're sitting um, very comfortably in the Empress throne. This cycle is coming to an end, and you're looking forward to better things. Okay? You're very comfortable as well. You know, and I feel like for someone here, you've already gotten married to someone else. And you could be, you could have a baby on the way. All right? Yes. You could very well have a baby on the way. Or this is what's coming in your future. This can also be the um, beginning of a new project, the creating of a new project. I don't know. I'm getting the sense that you're going to get married. You're going to um, have a baby. You're going to start a family. And this person, they just lost you. Um, that's what I'm seeing. And there's no communication still. Yeah, hermit energy. This person could be looking for you. Or like, um, maybe they're like, keep look. You know how you wait by the phone? You know, when somebody uh, waits by the phone, they could be like constantly looking um, at their text messages, you know, to see if there's any message from you yet. Or um, they're, I don't know, they're looking for you everywhere they go. It just has given me that energy that everywhere they go, they kind of keep an eye out for you. I'm also seeing this person go in old and gray, feeling burdened by this, unable to get you off of their mind, still thinking about you, okay? So, yeah, I mean, they're never going to be able to, they're, they don't know how to get over you. They don't know how to let you go, all right? Yeah. Yeah, see, I feel like um I feel like you, they left you feeling very used. All right? Um I'm getting the sense that you felt used, betrayed. Uh you they were definitely um intimate with you. Okay? You guys slept together and they walked away. It's like they ghosted you. And they could have done this to other people as well in their life but you're the only one that they can think that they can't stop thinking about i feel like this person betrayed you and they tried to um forget about it or they tried to put all of all of the backlash on you okay they left you holding the burdens and the bag and um and that was it you know, you may never get the, the truth from this person, but you're moving on. You're moving on because you, you already know your wish fulfillment, okay? Because you're that Ace of Cups. You're the Holy Grail Cup of Love. You know, and you know also that everything that you said um, about this situation has happened. You know you were right. Okay, and I feel like you've, you've healed from what they've done. Yeah, because you're sitting here with a lot of confidence. Yeah, this person is very regretful. They, they, yeah, they don't know how to accept this. They don't know how to let you go. They can't stop thinking about you. They're constantly being reminded by spirit of how they treated you, which was horrible. You know, they're out of time here to do anything about it because they're already at the bottom of the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, yeah. Let's see, what else? I feel like they are having to do their work. Okay, that was on the bottom of the deck. What else can you show me? You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um... You could be dealing with a Leo Aries Sagittarius. Yeah. Maybe a Gemini, or you could be a Gemini 
a Sagittarius, heavy Sagittarius energy. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, a new life. Spirit is like, um, it's time for you to start the new cycle. You all, you've already started it. I feel like you're already um, starting a new life here without this person. Yeah, and this is like the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. Okay, so I feel like you're, you're, you're either already in a commitment with someone new, about to start a family as well, or you're about to get all of that, okay? But your, your new life, this new cycle is starting now. And you're starting it in the Ten of Pentacles energy, which is absolutely fabulous. Okay? Very grateful to the divine. Very tapped in. Um, this to me is high priestess energy as well. Yeah, you know, this is also manifesting. You know that um, better things are coming or on the way. Love and money. That's pretty much what this is. Love, money, a commitment. Yeah, so um, these new things are coming towards you now. This past situation is coming to an end and you're releasing it because it's time to go. It's over. Yeah. And especially with the 10, that's the end to a cycle. And your person is ending their cycle in all of this regret. Unable to let you go. And you're starting a new cycle in the 10 of Pentacles. Um, a lot of abundance and love and loyalty. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, you're very blessed. Very, very blessed. Anyway, you guys, that's what I have for this quick reading. I do hope this helps and resonates. Um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to the channel because we're growing this channel together from the ground up. You guys, thank you so much for all of your support. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.